can validly assert that the resurgence of Boko Haram will affect us because under the previous administration, Niger, Kogi, Plateau, and Nasara states with the FCT were hotbeds of terrorist activities until the present administration came into office and appointed military chiefs that secured the geopolitical zone from terrorists. With the desperate push that Boko Haram is making, is making to prove that it remains relevant, the middle bird has no interest in seeing the group move southwards again, as this will place them in a geopolitical zone to the detriment of our people. Our geopolitical zone has had its share of ethno-religious crisis. Plateau is a case we can refer to at any time. Why Benue State has also had more than its fair share of ethnic strife that have been given different coloration that made tracking such conflicts difficult. Kogi State is not spared as well. Experience have shown that such crises have a tendency to flare up whenever there are elections or in their immediate aftermath. This credible threat must be taken in consonance with the threats from some politicians to make the poll do or die affair. We further take cognizance of cases on kidnap for ransom in neighboring geopolitical zones coupled with crimes like banditry in the Northwest. Efforts are being made to rid that region of the bandit, which makes it likely that the criminals being displaced could relocate to the North Central through Niger State. This makes it imperative that they are stopped from migrating into our land. Still on migration, the farmers' headers clashes is of concern to us given the number of gory deaths that have been attributed to this situation. While incidences of killing, especially in Benue State, have declined, concerns remain that nefarious elements may again use the election as a trigger for the killings to resume or use the farmers' headers' clashes as a cover to exert vengeance on political enemies. Our concerns extend to extremist and separatist groups to the north and south of our geopolitical zone. A separatist group had in the past year marked part of the Middle Belt as territory to be excised to form part of the illegal country they are dreaming of. On their part, extremists in the last quarter of last year invaded the FCT with a view to cause mayhem. The North Central is indeed is in need of protection from these elements. It is in view of these peculiar challenges that the Middle Belt Conscience Guard welcomes the Operation Python Dance that the Nigerian army has launched across the country and meant to last until the end of February. We see the operation as being able to address the security concerns and challenges that we have identified. For us, it is a confirmation that the federal government is committed to tackling violence and criminal activities such as banditry, political aided killers, and other criminalities that worsen during elections. We are hopeful that the operation will be able to identify and apprehend any Boko Haram suspect that escaped southwards. The exercise should equally address areas in the middle bed where the terrorists were once known to have sleeper cells. We would like the last vestige of Boko Haram to be removed from our geopolitical zone. 
We equally desire that the banditry in the Northwest to be contained by Operation Python Dance within, the, within that geopolitical zone so that they do not ever have the chance to trouble the people of the Middle Belt. We believe this is a unique chance to decimate the criminals that have kept people across Nigeria agitated over the wanton killings that trail them everywhere. We would have wished that the Operation Python Dance had commenced earlier than the 1st January of this year, as we had been requesting but the move by the Nigerian army to carry out the exercise during this period is commendable and welcomed by us. We all Nigerians, all stakeholders and lovers of our democracy to embrace it and offer support where they are able to. It is surprising that some elements have not only done their best to incite the populace against the oppression. They have even gone to the ridiculous extent of abusing court processes to stop an agency of government from performing its legitimate functions. Without meaning to prejudice what the courts will decide, we urge the Nigerian army to ignore the distraction and focus on the attacks at hand. Those who have nothing to hide should fear not and should go about their legitimate business, which includes continue to mobilize their followers ahead of the elections. While those with skeleton in their cupboard and looking forward to snatching ballot boxes and visiting death on others should have a rethink and change their ways. We appeal to the Nigerian army to do all within its ability to mop up illegal firearms it comes across in the course of the exercise. This should be done without fear or favor to ensure that the mop-up is thorough. In addition, we, we, could like, we, could like, we could like the operation to be conducted in a way that ensures that troublemakers do not slip through areas being covered to relocate to other parts to continue plying their thread. Furthermore, the military should be assured of the citizens' total cooperation throughout the elections, particularly in the North Central, where the farmers and herders have been at loggerheads over, the period, over a period of time. Our people are united along, along ethnic and religious lines in the support for the Nigerian army because we see the positive outcome from the exercise has been in our favor. While appealing to the, Nigerian military, to the Nigerian military leadership to insist on total compliance with rules of engagement, we look forward to free medical mission that was part of the earlier versions of Operation Python Dance. Knowing the capacity of, for mischief by those that do not want this exercise to hold, our advice is that there should be regular update to citizens to enable them know what the troops are encountering, achieving, and doing on deployment. Even before the operation has fully commenced, express our appreciation to the military for making it nationwide. We also anticipate really appreciate the army for what it will achieve when the operation is completed. We pray that God guide our troops and commanders right.